I thought my camera didn't work, only to realize that I had the lens cap on. Oh, what an idiot. Hey, welcome back to Spookier Celluloid. Uh, I guess <laughs> I upload once a week on this channel now. Uh, I'll be more consistent once I get more time, once I'm get done with school. I'll explain all of that in my main channel update uh, today. I'm talking about 2LDK, which is also a film that I uh, I showed in that collection update. So if you haven't seen that, I don't know. This might come out first. Uh, I don't know. So 2LDK is a Japanese film from 2003. I almost got two French there. Directed by Yukiko Tsutsumi. Which is funny because, as you guys know, I'm pretty big Japanese and Asian cinema fan. But I'm still discovering new directors, and this director has been working since the late 80s. And he, had, he has directed over 81 films, and I had never heard of him. This was my first experience, now I got this because I know that Unearthed, I think, released the Blu-ray. I was at a second-hand movie shop, so I decided to pick it up. It was pretty cheap, and maybe in the future I'll update, upgrade, because, uh, spoiler alert, I really really like this one. I don't want to spoil too much because it's very simple in its plot and it's very short. This is 70 minutes. It's a great way to spend an hour. Uh, so the basic plot is that you have these two actresses who moved in together because I think it's under their agency contract and they moved into this very luxurious uh, condo in Tokyo. However, the two ladies aren't very, uh, don't really have a personality that uh, gets along well. Uh, one of them is this uh, very Hollywood-esque lady, you know, the type with her expensive clothes, you know, she has Gucci and Coco Chanel. Uh, there's a hilarious scene at the beginning where the narration from the other girl just tells the price of everything that she's wearing. And, you know, she's this Hollywood type, this actress who, you know, she's she's just, you know, the, you know the type, the, 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 the cosmopolitan actress. And then you have our other main character, who's this girl who's kind of shy from a small island, uh, from a very humble family that I guess own a shop on this little island and she was an actress and she's an actress too but she's new and she potentially could get her first role but the only issue is that role is also potentially would also potentially be given to the girl she lives with so already there's conflict there and the girl who's shy from the island well she's more anal she really you know she really likes to keep it clean you have to follow the rules she doesn't like hair in the bath hair in the shower she you know writes their name or the first letter of their name on everything in the fridge so you know she doesn't get her stuff stolen and uh, the first half of the film the first act is basically just them talking to each other and bickering and on and between then you in between there you get some narration from both of the girls who basically say out loud what they're thinking and it's often not what they're saying to each other you can see that they both despise each other you know the hollywood type she likes to drink she likes the fuck she likes the party and our other girl you know she's just virginal girl from a small town who's very clean and proper and she's also interested in a man that she works with the only issue is well it's supposedly you know the the, the Hollywood girl might have slept with the guy so that's another source of conflict between the two ladies and eventually after bickering after giving each other shit for either stealing stuff that wasn't theirs or leaving hair in the shower well this leads to a fight also our Hollywood type is a bit mentally uh, unstable apparently she has murdered someone or she has witnessed a murder and she needs to take pills she has flashbacks to that scene of a girl and of a woman and her child you know dead in a bathtub full of blood and that plays into her mental unhingedness uh, and which again leads to a fight between the 
2. And that's as far as I'll go about the story or the plot of 2LDK. Uh, yeah. Really like this one. This is a roller coaster of emotion. At first, this is just kind of like a dark and very subtle comedy between these two girls who hate each other. It's kind of like a mean girl type esque, but uh, you know, the dialogue is a bit harsher because they're adults. And I really love the narration. I love the look of this. I'm pretty sure. This looked like it was shot on 16mm, which has quickly risen to be my favorite film format to watch movies that were shot on it. I mean, 16mm just has a gritty, noisy, very dark and uh, realistic, I'd say, look for these types of films. Um, it's ver The cinematography is very... Um, it's always moving, but it's not, you know, super shaky cam from the late 2000s, but it's always in action, so it makes the film really dynamic, it makes it go by very quickly, and it's even so short that already the running time makes it go by quickly. The cinematography, the action, the character, the build-up makes it even more uh, fast pace like there is not really a dull moment even the moments of dialogue or inner dialogue between the characters are pretty fast paced uh, and like I said it's a roller coaster of emotion you know at first you're laughing and then you're a bit horrified at the violence between the two girls and then there are some emotional moments this is a very well done little film like uh, uh I was very surprised for, you know, how fast paced and how um, short it is that it got pretty deep. You don't expect a movie that's 70 minutes to go that deep into their characters, but at the same time it makes sense because you spend all of the film in the apartment with the two girls. Um, there's not really much of a soundtrack and... Um, uh, yeah, there's not really much of a soundtrack, which is also an interesting little uh, point. Uh, and when there is music, uh, it's our Hollywood type of girl going insane listening to like some metal, while our shy girl, of course, is just playing the piano trying to relax. Yeah, this one's this one's a good one. Uh, it's uh, it's definitely a highlight. And you would think that this is the type of film I'd cover on my main channel, but you know, there's not enough material without spoiling it. Uh, Unearthed, I think, has released the Blu-ray. Uh, so yeah, go pick it up, or if you find it cheap from this TLA releasing. Now, of course, this is a old-ass DVD from 2004, so you know, the quality not might not be the best, uh, but... Uh, you yeah, know, it's still the movie looks good. Also, I'm I'm glad it's shot on film, uh, because a lot of the lower budget budgeted independent Japanese films of the time were experimenting with you know digital, uh, and even though I love myself some shot on video Japanese films from the late 90s to early 2000, I think this one works better shot on film. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, I'll give it a rating, even though they don't really matter. I gave this an 8 out of 10. Again, really spot on. Okay, maybe yeah, an 8. I'd say an 8 or an 8.1. But uh, it's a really fun one, and I can't wait to explore more of this director's other work. Thank you, and see you guys next time. <laughs>